So this was a finished basement. So three separate rooms. The walls have been torn off because they were underwater. That's where the electrical panel was. A new one has gone in, but there's much more damage at Michelle and Dave Barron's home. And it happened so fast that like that, it was the water up in the basement and the water coming in here. The flood also destroyed their air conditioning unit. The air conditioner has just been upended and smashed into our fence and the fence came off. Uh, so it was just a river of water flowing through here and, and swept the fence, the air conditioner, and then went on and took our cars down the street. With this high heat, it's like a one-two punch for neighborhoods like this, which were flooded out last week. This street looked like a river, and even today, most of these homes still don't have electricity. It couldn't have been any worse. You've got a flood a week ago, and then now you've got 100 degree weather coming this weekend. Steve Nugent owns John Nugent and Sons Heating and Cooling. They're installing a new AC for the Barons. The amount of calls we've got have gone up like 50, 60%. He's very concerned about people sitting in homes with no AC. It's that unhealthy heat where things can turn from, okay, you just got a broken air conditioner to being really unsafe for somebody in a house. And that's the biggest fear for all air conditioning contractors is you're trying to get there before anything bad happens to anybody that's, you know, struggling in the heat. Nugent says companies will bring window units if they can't replace the whole system quickly enough. Yeah, the goal is to try to get up to where they can at least live in the rest of the house and get things so they're drying out because that moisture, you know, leads to mold, leads to problems that we don't want. In Arlington County, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.